Hello everyone, welcome to DIY Design by CCW. Thank you so much for clicking on my video and I hope you are having a fantastic day. Well today everyone, I am bringing you a special throwback DIY. Um, now I'm also participating in a collaboration and I'm going to share a little bit more about that as we get into the video. First of all, back in 2020, I did a hurricane uh, lantern DIY and uh, I did it with some thrifted pieces and I'm going to do the same thing today. So here you see I have a thrifted uh, hurricane um, and uh, also a thrifted cylinder and i've got lots of other things here um, i'm going to be working with some mirrors uh, also going to be working with some mod podge some glitter and uh, some fabric trim or bling wrap i should say and uh, i can't wait to get started also going to be using these dollar tree um, wooden blocks and uh, some other pieces all right guys so let's get right into the video and uh, or into the diy now first up i'm going to do what i do every time i make over glass i'm going to be cleaning these pieces with alcohol now if you're going to paint glass or if you're going to do what i'm going to do today use uh, mod podge and also some fabric trim I suggest that you clean your pieces first with alcohol. That way, whatever you do, it will adhere a little better and it will last a little bit longer. Now, once I get these pieces cleaned and dried, we'll jump right into the DIY. that my pieces are clean what I'm going to do is go ahead and mix up my Mod Podge paste and begin coating my pieces now for this paste I'm using the Mod Podge gloss because I want this to be a clear finish and uh, I'm going to mix uh, two types of glitter now these are just the regular glitter that you can buy at any craft store um, and I'll do a little silver and a little gold and uh, really, it's just personal preference in terms of how much silver and how much gold you want to use in your paste. Uh, once you get it all mixed up, then you can want to go ahead and paint this on. I'm going to rather go ahead and paint this on the glass um, pieces. And again, the idea is that when it dries clear, I'll have the beautifully, beautiful, sparkly sort of finish that's going to show uh, in between the fabric trim I'm going to use or rather the bling wrap I'm going to use as well as on the sides or anywhere uh, where the glass you know shows through okay so while I'm mixing and before I begin uh, or as you watch me do the painting here uh, or the brushing on I should say of the Mod Podge I wanted to tell you a little bit more about this collaboration now first of all this is again the milestone collaboration it's an open collaboration now the host are the grace life diy home decor she's the main host and also glam elegant living is the second host now there are a ton of other hosts and co-hosts rather and uh, too many for me to name in this video but i've like li i've linked all of their channels down in the description box now i'm a co-host as well and again we've got several other creators that have come together for this collaboration now the whole point is we're going to be sharing with you something maybe a milestone maybe we've achieved a, a certain number on our channel or just whatever it is but we're also going to be really talking about the Grace Life DIY Home Decor because she achieved a special milestone. Now she, she will share in her video her numbers and I hope that you will go and watch her video. Uh, we're all using the hashtag the Grace Life DIY that way you can find all of our videos. Now my milestone um, and the one that I'm sharing with you today is that in 2020 
um, I really started to take a look at this YouTube thing. I kind of got into YouTube by accident. Um, I, I had purchased a fixer upper some years ago in 2019 or 2018 actually and did all the work myself and a lot of my family and friends said you know you ought to document your progress on YouTube so I did 2020 hit the pandemic hit and we you know I was working from home and I started watching all these other creators and started doing a few types of videos like tablescapes and things like that and uh, one day I happened to do a DIY video and one of my friends here on YouTube, I call her my sister, she called me and she said her name is Tammy. Her channel is uh, The Glam DIY. She is the glam queen of DIY. She called me and said, Candy, you know that video you put up, people are watching it. I'm like, really? They are? So I looked. And sure enough, they were. So by the end of 2020, um, I had started doing glam DIYs. My channel had started to grow, and I became I got I got uh, monetized. I never thought that would happen. So, the last video that I put up in 2020 was one where I made a uh, set of hurricanes, and I didn't even know what I was doing. I sat down, start putting it together, and that's what came out. So that's what you're watching me do here. I am recreating. Um, the hurricane centerpiece that I did, or I did two of them actually, and I'm going to change this one up a little bit, going to make it a little bit larger, that way I have a three-piece set. When I made the other two, I always wanted a third one, you know, so that I could have a set if I wanted to, you know, do a tablescape or something like that. So just like in the first one, uh, you see me here gluing on. Uh, I'm working with this flower mesh fabric trim. And just like the first one, I'm alternating silver and gold flower mesh. And uh, basically just going to line. Uh, this is the cylinder that's going to go on the inside. Um, and just really here, just trying to make sure it's even and that it lays flat. And you may notice that the Mod Podge and glitter treatment kind of pokes through anywhere there is uh, an opening instead of just looking at plain glass. So here you see me just doing what I typically do, just, just kind of working over the, uh, uh, the flower mesh trim to make sure that it's laying flat. Now the glue I'm working with is my glue of choice. If you haven't, if you don't follow my channel, you may not have seen that, seen this, uh, me use this glue, but it is E6000 Quick Hold, and I use it because it gives you a, the firm hold of E6000, but it's thinner, a little bit easier to work with when it comes to fabric trim, and it also gives you a quick hold. Um, now, once I get this piece done, I'm going to move on to the hurricane. Now I'm going to dress up the hurricane. Now again, just like I did in the original video, I'm going to be alternating silver and gold flower mesh on the hurricane. I'm also going to trim it out with uh, flower mesh as well. Now for the first uh, hurricanes, what I did is use more gold than silver. Um, in this particular one, I'm going to use more silver than gold. So again, this is going to be the centerpiece for the other two. And uh, so I thought it would be fun to alternate it. And there again, as you see the hurricane laying there, you see what the gloss Mod Podge does. It really creates that nice, you know, surface, as I said before. And then you can see how the glitter kind of uh, shines. It's really hard to see it on camera, but it's really pretty, especially if you put a candle or a tea light inside the hurricane, then you can really see um, how it looks. So again, here I'm just using my E6000, spreading it out, and I'm going to try and lay this out 
making sure that I have room at either end to add the additional trim. And uh, that's really it. So guys, I'm going to stop talking for a little bit, let you watch me do this, and I'll be back when we get to another part of the DIY. Now, one thing I do want to say before I, before I jump off is unlike the other set, I'm going to go ahead and add a little extra bling uh, in terms of uh, a brooch to this. And you will see me uh, also do that as I go back. I'm going to go back and kind of fix up the original uh, hurricanes as well. And I'll add a little extra pop to those as well. So, all right, guys, I'm going to rest my voice a little bit, stop talking, and I'll be back when we get to another part of this DIY. So what I'm going to do here is just place the brooches. Now I'm using a set of three. Uh, actually, it's one brooch that comes in a connected set. I always get these from Joanne Fabrics, and I've worked with this particular type of brooch quite a bit. Now I'm going to use a mix of the E6000 Quick Hold as well as the regular uh, E6000 so that, you know, the brooch will stay in place. And uh, I'm going to put the brooch on, or one of these brooches on each of these hurricanes. So I'll go ahead and snazz up the older or the original hurricanes as well. Now, before you leave me in the mess, a note in the comments, yes, this is off center, but I promise you I did fix it before the glue set. It's just kind of hard sometimes when you're doing this and looking at uh, your piece from the side to realize that it's not straight. But uh, I did catch it at the end or before the glue set. So you'll see when we get to the final reveal that the brooches are going to be centered properly. All right, guys, I'm going to stop talking. I'll be back when we get to the next part of the DIY.
right? So here, just like I did for the original uh, hurricanes, I'm going to build a base. Now, I'm doing a little bit different method. Um, when I did the first hurricanes, I used uh, for floral foam for the center. Now, uh, I don't use the floral foam anymore because I've learned that it doesn't hold up that well over time. Uh, now, I work with cake boards or foam board or like I call it, poster board. Uh, here, I'm just going to stack several cake boards together. Now, these are six inch mirrors. Um, when I first started and at the beginning of the video, I was showing you nine inch mirrors, um, but I decided to scale it down and use these six inch mirrors instead. Um, now again, I'm just stacking them together. Once they're all stacked together, I'll go ahead and trim them out with uh, a little bit of regular bling wrap, as I call it. Now you'll see me do two layers here. And by the way, uh, here I'm just using scraps, you know, pro pieces that are left over from other projects. Um, if you do a lot of these DIYs, you find different ways to save money. And that's one thing that I do every project. If I have anything left over, I add it to my scrap bag because you never know when it's going to come in handy. So here you see me cutting some strips. Uh, and now I'm going to glue these on. And then once I do that, I'll go ahead and add a little bit extra pop of gold with the gold flower mesh. And, uh, and then I'll set this aside and um, come back and finish it a little bit later. All right, guys, so I'll let you watch me do this and I'll be back. So just like I did for the first hurricanes, I'm going to put legs on the base. Now for the first hurricanes, I use these little Dollar Tree blocks. So I'm going to repeat that process uh, for this one or for the new base for the new hurricane. Now um, here you see me just cutting some strips of regular bling wrap. In the first video, what I did is paint these uh, blocks and then I think I just added some flower mesh this time I'm going to double layer it rather than paint and uh, here you'll see that I'm just going to lay out four strips of regular bling wrap um, and I'm going to put my E6000 glue on each strip and then once I get that you know once I get the strips all glued I'll add a little bit more to the bottom of each of the blocks um, I'll leave the top, you know, uncovered because no need to cover that because I'm actually going to be gluing that on to the mirror base of the centerpiece hurricane. Um, and then I'll also add a little more gold 
uh, flour mesh just to give myself a little or give the, the legs a little bit of extra pop. And uh, once that's done, I'll come back and I'll glue the legs on to the base. And uh, that'll be a real simple process. All right, guys, so I'll let you watch me do this and then I'll be back when we get to the next part of the DIY. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue the legs onto the base. Now, the other thing that I changed uh, from the original piece or the original Hurricanes, for those, I did not put um, any mirrors on the bottom. And I always regretted doing that. So what I ended up doing is covering the bottoms of those bases with a little gold flower mesh. Now, uh, that's kind of held up okay over time. I have had to go back and re-glue the flower mesh, or rather not the flower mesh, regular bling wrap, I'm sorry. I've had to go back and re-glue that a little bit, you know, every now and then. But I think by using a mirror on top and a mirror on bottom, on the bottom, I think this base will be a lot more stable than the first base, uh, first bases that I built for my original hurricanes. Um, also, you might note if you watched any of my videos uh, before, in my more recent videos, I don't always create the legs like this anymore. A lot of times I use um, maybe crystal knobs or something like that. But since this is what I did for the original uh, hurricanes, I wanted to go ahead in this milestone collaboration or milestone uh, video collaboration, I wanted to go ahead and do what I did then, except just maybe take it up a notch or two. All right, guys. So now for the last, the last thing that I'm going to do uh, is go ahead and dress up the other two uh, pieces. Now, again, these are the original hurricane bases. Um, I decided to go ahead and dress them up a little bit and add a little bit of gold flower mesh to each one of those just to give it a little bit of extra pop. And now I have it turned upside down so you can see what I did for the bottom. Like I said, um, when I originally did this, um, I actually painted the bottom and then put that gold uh, fabric trim on the bottom. And again, it's held up, but if I had it to do all over again, like today, I would have used a mirror on the bottom to give the whole piece a little more stability. All right, guys, now I'll let you watch me do this, and then I'll be back when we get to the next part of the DIY.
So the last thing I'll do is just like I did for the first uh, cylinders, I'm going to glue this cylinder to the base. Um, the first time or the first cylinders I used hot glue. This time I'm going to use a little bit of E6000 and also a little bit of quick hold. That way I get a firm hold and a strong hold or a firm and strong hold and a quick hold I should say. And uh, once that's done, it'll be time for the final reveal. So hang on. When I come back, we'll be looking at how the set came together. Guys, this is how the Hurricane set turned out. I think I like it, but you let me know what you think, please. Now, let's take a closer look at the whole set. Now, here is the a focus on the centerpiece or the new hurricane first. Uh, again, for this one, I switched it up a little bit and alternated. Um, I basically used more silver and accented with gold. And uh, just to kind of change it up a little bit and added that brooch for an additional little pop. Um, also did the base a little different and I think it's going to make it a little more sturdy. Now there I'm just lifting the outer part of the hurricane so that you can see what it looks like underneath. And um, I'm, this is something I've used these for electric candles and votives, things like that, and they work really well. Now there's a look at the one of the original cylinders, and again, I left it the same uh, for the most part. I just added that brooch, and I did beef up, uh, or rather add just a little more trim to the base. But you know what? This set has held up really well. Again, I made the original set uh, at the end of December 2020, and it's held up for, you know, all this time, and I do use it. So, um, you know, I'm hoping I get some more use out of the set now that I have three pieces. So, again, please make sure to go and visit all of the ladies that are participating in this collaboration, especially the Grace Life DIY Home Decor, as we are really coming together to celebrate her milestones as well as our own. Now there I'm showing you a set that I did in gold and silver and a different type of uh, fabric trim. Excuse me, I did that earlier this month. I'll make sure to link that video down in my description box as well as the video for the mirror that you see on the bottom uh, of this set. Now, that's all I have for you today, guys. If you're not a member of the channel, I really hope that you'll subscribe today. I'd love to have you be a member. Also, please make sure you visit my other channels. They are the Glam Decor channel, where I do uh, lots of glam shopping, glam decor shopping videos, and also Tablescapes by Candy, where I do glam tablescapes and glam vignettes. And like I say at the end of every video, can't wait to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day or wonderful night. Bye-bye.